Now, coming to the end, let's say, let's answer this question. So, I want to convince you to use the uronic acid in temperament divergence problem. So, are uronic acid infection, in, in, injection effective? So, we perform the study, a retrospective analysis of patients treated at six, at six months gave a great improvement. This was published in Triple Low. A retrospective analysis of patient treated at one year, we've seen that the maintenance, a maintenance of the improvement achieved. But considering the good pre preliminary results, how to optimize benefits and reduce the invasivity, so we propose uh, a single needle technique for general lavage. So when we perform a systematic review of the literature, we have seen it before, so as we have seen that many aspects are not as to be clarified. So, another question. Is there a standard protocol to treat this patient? So a randomized clinical trial with six protocols uh, seen, uh, show that a cycle of five sessions gives the best results at three months. And another question. With the same protocol, does a less invasive technique have a same efficacy? So we have seen that two needles, a single needle technique gave the same results after six months. Let's go ahead. Assuming the molecular, the low molecular weight as the standard for five section, is it possible to use hyaluronic acid with a higher molecular weight in order to reduce the number of sections. So we have seen that the high molecular weight is not recommended, while the medium molecular weight may have an interesting perspective. And then, since 15% of the patients do not refer benefit, is it possible to identify predictors of effectiveness at the personal level? So we have seen that subjects with more than 65 years improve much more than younger subjects. But physical factors are not so important, while psycho psychosocial factors explain the most part of the therapeutic efficacy. So to take home and to conclude, we can see the arthrosynthesis plus visco supplementation works pretty well. It can be indicated for close lock with a, a, this dislocation. It's a symptomatic treatment for uh, TMJ osteoarthritis, and it's an alternative, a good alternative to prolonged use of anesthesia. It is placed therapeutically between the surgical and conservative treatment. It's a simple and effective method, even not yet known enough, and in the future we have to plan how many sessions and with which molecular weight we have to use. And uh, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you Dr. Garda Nardini for this impressive demonstration of the new technique and also of your own research results on this and again I'm sure we will have a vivid discussion at the end of the presentation.